No one's going to put you into yoga consistency jail if you're going to skip once or twice. It's not the end of the world. Just continue. You've probably seen those doing yoga every day videos. So inspiring. I have one. No doubt doing yoga every day is such a beneficial habit that elevates your life and frankly changes it. It affects your life in a major way. It's also a really good way to just start learning to implement those positive habits in your daily life. But we're busy, we all have different things to do, the world is demanding our attention every minute, and the question is, is that really possible? Or is this just like a internet that girl gimmick? If you're considering to do yoga every day, and maybe you tried it in the past and it didn't quite work out, and you're wondering maybe you did something wrong and if there's a way to make it work for you, this is a perfect video for you. In this video, I wanted to share some tips on how to do yoga every day and things that personally helped me to do it every day now for two years. So without further ado, let's get into practical tips you can apply every day. So the first thing that I would strongly recommend you do when you start implementing any habit that you want to do daily is to choose your why. Why do you want to do yoga every day? What's your reasoning? Maybe you understand this is gonna be good for me. This is generally a good habit to do. Why is this specifically your decision? Why do you want to implement it into your life? What's your intention behind this habit? And by recognizing and establishing your why, you will consciously commit more to this practice and the reasons that are personal to you. Honestly, yoga is good for so many things, but you have to choose yours because not everything is going to be relevant to you. Like honestly, when I started, health benefits weren't really relevant. Being stronger and doing cool poses was the main motivator, um, as shallow as it sounds. But you have to find your own reason and whatever that is, this is your why, write it down and, and this is a great base to build that habit on. The next thing that really helped me personally is setting a limited period of time. So for me personally, it was 50 days. I heard it takes 50 days to really cultivate a habit. So I was like, okay, challenge accepted. Let's do 50 days. What really helped to solidify this decision is to make a calendar where you get to cross off every day. You can do it in an app or you can do it on your phone, but I personally prefer to do those kind of habit building calendars by hand. Like, you know, you meditate on this decision while making this calendar. Like it feels like this is you taking your decisions in your own hands. There's nothing more satisfying than crossing off a day in your yoga. Just personal preference, maybe you can try it out. Those 50 days were a nice limited time for me to kind of foresee, and I suggest you choose a realistic time frame. For me, this is essential in building habits. Calendar and setting a period of time that is small enough to be realistic and big enough to be rewarding. By deciding that this is your daily practice, you make time in your schedule. So if your schedule is very specific, you work, so you have to decide when it makes the most sense. For me, evenings worked really great because it was really relaxing and helped me to shake off the day and just, you know, feel fulfilled in the end of the day. So I was just doing it every day in the evening. So maybe it's going to be the same for you or maybe you're going to choose your time, but I suggest you reflect onto your schedule and decide to make time for this practice instead of waiting for the opportunity it's going to show up for you to do that practice because, you know, things happen, life happens and you have to actively make time for your practice. Uh, the next one would be is to find teacher and classes that resonate with you. You could be doing classes in the studio, you could be having a mix of a studio and YouTube classes or just YouTube classes. I personally just started with YouTube and this has been my full first year of doing yoga. Find your teacher that works for you. Maybe you can dedicate each day to trying a new teacher or trying new styles, different levels. And, you know, don't get discouraged if maybe one teacher doesn't work for you. You know, there's definitely something for you out there. So consider your level, don't make it too overwhelming. And I also suggest you still keep it challenging because I feel like this is a very nice thing to keep yourself motivated is to have that like little challenge. Find your teacher that resonates with you. Maybe it's going to take some trial and error. Find the classes that resonate with your level and with what you find fun. This really helped me in the beginning, and it is to do shorter classes. I just stuck to 20 minute classes every day. And honestly, this was how I started for a few months in the beginning. It was really doable. Sometimes, obviously, you won't have even 20 minutes, or maybe you like, think you don't even have 20 minutes. There's even 10 minute classes for your bedtime. Shorter duration classes help you to cultivate the habit. It's way better doing yoga every day, 15 to 20 minutes, than doing yoga once a week for like two hours. 
there's nothing wrong with sticking to shorter classes and if something this might be one of the most helpful things you can do to not overwhelm yourself and make it sustainable for yourself and with the time you can take longer classes whenever you have the opportunity and you you know develop more motivation and kind of curiosity towards what is going on in the longer classes if 20 minute classes were so cool 60 minute classes oh my god different world. The next thing is to listen to yourself, obviously. So yoga really gives the opportunity to take it as intense or as chill as you need. And maybe you're thinking, how is this doable? If I work out every day, this is really not healthy for my muscles because they can't recover. This is why I love yoga, because you can have beautiful recovery days that are actually much more pleasant to recover with and nice relaxing yin flow rather than skip the whole day overall. Sometimes it was just me in the bed doing bed yoga. Honestly, I love YouTube because it has all kinds of practices. Listen to yourself and take it as gentle or as intense as you need because there's different people and this is why it's so inclusive and it is for everyone because you can find your style and what works for your body and what your body is asking for. Next tip that I rely on heavily is helping my future self. I'm setting my future self up for success in my daily yoga practice, which means I know where I'm going to practice it. My mat is ready. My little outfit is ready. I know what class I'm going to do because I decided the day before or maybe I made a plan for classes in a week advance. <laughs> If you're doing morning practice, maybe you're like me, the last thing I want to do is search for a class or decide what I'm gonna do, decide what I'm gonna wear and decide where I'm gonna do it. This is uh, honestly a nightmare in the morning. I prepare myself from the night before and in the morning I just wake up and decisions are made for me, all I need to do is actually do it. The more obstacles you will have in the form of decision making, the more excuses you will feel tempted to make to not do the practice. Help yourself and set yourself up for success. Not every day will be perfect. You might be feeling very demotivated in some days, not in the mood, bored or distracted. It's absolutely normal. Not every day is going to be, yes, I want to do yoga practice finally. And not every day you will feel so great doing it because daily yoga practice will start challenging your physical, mental and emotional obstacles. You will start feeling the resistance. And this is a good time to pull out your why and remind yourself why is this important to you why is this important to stick today with this daily yoga practice you won't really notice but you will start slowly digging into yourself creating this internal connection the deeper you dig the more rocks you will hit you might think okay this is the end this is where i stop pull out your why remember why you started and just keep digging i don't know if it's a good analogy but but trust me once you are done with it you will be grateful that you did it today it's just taking one day at a time. And to finalize this all, the goal is to make this practice an essential part of your day. This is part of your lifestyle. You make time for it because it's an essential part of your day and this is the mindset you have to adopt. Trust me, it will become an essential part of your day once you do it enough. To me right now, I'm at the point where yoga practice became like a hygiene thing for me, where <laughs> if I don't do it, I just feel sticky, like I did not take a shower or I didn't brush my teeth. Very uncomfortable and unnatural not to do it. You might skip a day, don't beat yourself up. Sometimes you fall asleep without brushing your teeth. It happens, just continue. No one's going to put you into yoga consistency jail if you're going to skip once or twice, it's not the end of the world, just continue. If you watch this video up to this point, I am really excited for your daily practice because I'm not over exaggerating what I'm saying, this is life changing. And yoga really helps you see yourself or who you are. Daily practice is such a big part of self-discovery. Please let me know what kind of tips you're already implementing, how your everyday yoga is going. I'm excited to chat with you. As always, you're a beautiful community that I'm honestly just so blessed to be part of. And remember the best time to start is now. So hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. I need to drink.